In this video, we are going to see how we can create the list in Koha, which can be used for different purposes. Before we create the list, it is very important to understand the concept of list. Actually, in Koha, it allows to create two kinds of list. First one is the private, second one is the public. In private list, you can search the record and you can add the detail in your private list. Generally, this kind of list is preserved by faculty or the library who are regular user or regular visitor of the online public access catalog. They can prepare one list of those items which they frequently browse and they use for their purposes. So what will happen? It will not be visible to the public on the OPAC but it will remain in their user detail and whenever they need they can open this private list and see the books availability or books other information the second one is the public list this is very very important for the library this this list you can make it for the public use and the best option to use this list is the new arrival list or those items which are rare and you want to tell the library users that these are the items or these are the documents available in the library or in rare category or some of the things are very important and on high demand so you can make the list of all those items and create the public list and share the link with all the users so that they can browse and come to know that these are the things available in the library so i'm not going to talk about the private list i'm going to talk about the public list once you log in with uh, your user id and password and click on list and then it will open another window and uh, there you have to select the public list and from here you click on new list so here you can enter the list name for example i give new arrival and uh, how I'm going to sort the tit list title wise, author wise, copyright date and call number wise. So I'm keeping it as a uh, title and I'm not going to make any other changes here and, and I'm just going to click on save button. So what it will do, it will save the record in uh, create the list uh, as a new arrival and uh, this new arrival list can be used to add those records which are recently added to the library so from here you can add the book in uh, this list you can see new arrival content of new arrival it is asking to keep means add and uh, i'll add for example i have one number so i'll add i'll just enter the barcode number or accessor number and click on add so this particular item will be added to this list you can see one item is added to the new arrival and the same will be displaying on OPEC also if you just refresh the page and see it will be listed here in the list you can notice here already there is a list list of new arrivals and if I click on this one then it will show me the items available in the list of new arrivals